So this video is going to explain to you uh, how certain uh, techniques are used in calculus to come up with uh, area underneath a curve. Um, I don't know how many people have really actually wondered uh, where the formula for uh, the area of a circle. Um, let me just open a new thingy here. Okay, where this uh, formula for the area of a circle. Um, There's pi r squared where this came from. Well, there's actually tricks in calculus that enable you to come up with this uh, formula. What we're going to do actually is we're going to draw a circle, or actually in this case a semicircle, uh, which you can see here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on a quarter of the circle. So we can just focus on this one quarter. Because if we can get a formula for the quarter, we can always get it for the entire circle by just multiplying by 4. So the technique in calculus that's used to do that, and you're going to use geometry's catch pad to kind of explore that, is to actually draw the circle, okay, whose equation is uh, 1 minus x squared. Uh, let me go over where that comes from. Okay, So you know that, um, oops, wrong one. Um, you know that x squared plus y squared equals 1 would be the equation of a circle, uh, center of the origin, radius 1. So if you move the x squared over and then take square roots, ideally you really need plus or minus square root of 1 minus x squared. This would give you the full circle, okay? What we are doing is we're just going to look at the top half. So we're going to graph only uh, y equals square root of 1 minus x squared, as you can see right there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and fill in this uh, quadrant of a circle with rectangles. And the nice thing about geometry's sketch pad is that it enables you to measure the areas of the rectangles very easily. Okay, So this is what uh, our goal is. Okay, What you're also going to do is you're also going to uh, make a table. Okay, Let me see where it is here. You'll make a table that looks like that, and you'll fill in the columns in this table. So for example, in the left-hand column, you're going to have the number of rectangles. And if you look at the picture that I have right now, it shows you four. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be drawing more, more and more rectangles and find the area. So taking a look at the table, what will happen is that you'll put in the number of rectangles, compute the area, OK? And you're going to add the area of all the rectangles together and come up with a number in each row here. And then notice that this will be the area of a quarter of a circle. And you're going to compare it to the theoretical area of the circle, which is from the uh, formula a quarter pi r squared. We're going to be doing quarter of a circle, OK? So it'll be 1 quarter pi r squared, and the radius of the circle is 1, OK? All right, I'm going to start uh, a new sketch and show you exactly all the steps that you need to do, OK? Um, so I'm going to go open a new one. OK, and I'm going to graph a function. So plot new function. The function I'm plotting is square root OK, of 1 minus x squared. OK. And you can see that you get itsy bitsy circle, which is not really easy to work with. So let's try and change the scale on this. And you can do that by actually dragging this um, axis out. OK. And notice some funky things happen with the drawing, OK? It's not the most beautiful, most sophisticated drawing program. But the circles now, or the semicircle is now not looking quite like a semicircle. But believe me, underneath it treats it as a semicircle, OK? So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with, uh, let's say, how many? One, two, three. We're going to uh, start out with uh, four rectangles, OK? Four rectangles. and. What we're going to do is, uh, let me see what the four points will be. OK, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4. Actually, it'll be five rectangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can start out with five, OK? Or four, eight, four, either five or four, whatever works for you, OK? So I'm going to put in points first, OK? I'm going to put in points at the bottom of my rectangles. So I'm going to go. Um, make my point snap to a grid. So select snap points. And then I'm going to put it here. 
there, there, and there. Okay. And I'm going to um, let me kind of scroll this up if I can a little bit so you guys can see the top a little bit better. So let's say I want to draw a circle with uh, these two as the bottom uh, corner points of the rectangle, okay? And what you do is you select that point, select this axis, okay, and construct a perpendicular line there, okay? Oh. I guess I got two of them, so let me just go undo this. Okay, all I want is just one, so go select this point, the axis, construct perpendicular line, and there you go. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to deposit a point at the intersection of the line that you drew and the curve. So when you do it, you'll see that the curve gets highlighted so you have a feel that it's uh, on the graph itself, okay? So that point is on the graph. Oops, that didn't quite work out there, did it? It's kind of hard with this, um, move it right there, okay? It's hard with uh, the drawing pen that I have. Okay, so that's my third corner of my rectangle. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that point and this line and construct a parallel line. I'm oh, sorry, uh, yeah, parallel line in this case. And then I'm going to put a point okay, I'm going to put a point right there. which is the intersection of, um, so I'm going to unsnap this because it wants to really put the point at that corner, but that's not where I want it. I want it here. Okay. Now let me just go back and undo some of the lines. Okay. So I'm going to do that one and that one. I will hide those lines. Okay. Oh, I, I hit the point as well. So uh, go, um, go control Z this guy to undo it. And what I want is, I only want to hide this line and this line here. Um, so display hide. And I want to draw a rectangle, so I'm going to select this point, that point, construct a segment right there, then select this point and this point, and construct segment. And now I've got a rectangle. And I can actually shade this in or color it in, okay, using Sketchpad. So select those four points, then you go Construct and Quadrilateral Interior. So right there is your first rectangle, okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to do five of these. So one, two, three, four, and actually I don't like the fifth one because I want all the rectangles to be inside the uh, the uh, uh, inside the semicircle. So you're going to do four, okay? I don't want it so that some of them are inside and some of them are outside. I want all of them to be inside the semicircle. So in calculus, there are really two techniques: one in which the rectangles are going to be inside that uh, semicircle, and one all of the rectangles are outside. So it's either inscribed or circumscribing the circle. Okay, it's either inside the circle or it's outside the circle. So we're going to just use four. And we'll have four of the rectangles being inside the circle, okay? All right. So if I'll show you another one as well, uh, let's just go ahead and do yet one more. So select this point, select this line, and you're going to go construct a perpendicular line. There it is. Uh, go put a point on that intersection of the line and the graph. So right there, okay? It's not quite on. Uh, it'd be nice to get it pretty much on, but there we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to select that line and this line here, draw a parallel line. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit a point here, okay, which is the intersection of this line and the rectangle. So uh, let's put a point here. 
put it right there. Okay. Uh, let's go hide. Let me go delete this point. Okay. Uh, let's just go hide these two lines so that we get a clean rectangle there. Uh, display hide. Hide lines. Okay. Uh, join these two points. Construct segment. Okay. Uh, join these two points, construct segment, and we've got another rectangle. Let's go ahead and create the inside of that rectangle, quadrilateral interior. Okay. All right, so I've shown you how to do two rectangles, and you can proceed with making four and then maybe eight. Uh, so make more and more rectangles and then build a table up that I showed you earlier, okay? So let's say you want to find the area of this one rectangle. So choose the four points that define the rectangle, then go measure, uh, should have an area somewhere. Calculate, no, um, let's see. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it should have been area. Uh, maybe we need to kind of click on the inside of the rectangle and then get a measure. There we go. So it's not uh, clicking the full points of the rectangle, but just click inside the rectangle. So go find the area. There, it gives you the area of rectangle A, B, C, D. Okay. So you guys can measure those uh, rectangles, the areas of those rectangles. And then you can always go get your calculator up here, okay? Get your calculator, um, and then find the uh, the sum of the area of the rectangle. So let's go do uh, calculate. Here's your calculator, okay? And you can select this value in there, and then you can go plus the area of the other rectangle. So let me go back in here. Well, let's just cancel this out first. Let's get the area of another rectangle. So Select the inside, go measure area, and now we can add these two up. You're going to be adding uh, however many rectangles you draw, okay? So start out with, say, like I'm saying, four, and then uh, make eight, and then maybe 12, uh, and, and complete the table, okay? So let's go uh, calculate, bring your calculator up, get the area of this, uh, plus the area of the other one. And you've got an answer right there. So the area of those two rectangles is 35.31. So if you've got four rectangles, you're going to do this four times, edit up there, and then you're going to enter the result in this uh, table here, in this row here, okay, right there, okay? So this will be for four rectangles, then you can move on to eight, and if time permits, to 12 and so on, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to then compare the result of the answers in this column with your theoretical uh, area of the circle that you will have written down here, okay? Right, going back. So this was for really working on the uh, circle. And hopefully you guys can finish this on Monday. And then on Tuesday, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually, uh, let me see, what do I want? I want this. On Tuesday, we are actually also going to investigate how to find the area underneath uh, this curve here, okay? Okay, so y equals square root of 1 minus x squared. No, sorry, my bad. Uh, that's not what we want. Um, we want, uh, hang on, let me just, give me a minute and I'll be back in a minute. So yeah, on Tuesday what you'll do is you'll explore finding the area underneath this parabola here, okay? y equals x squared plus 1, okay? Now when you graph this, it's going to give you both sides, obviously, okay? It's going to be symmetric and all that. We don't need to really worry about the other side. We're just going to uh, do one side. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the techniques that I taught you on Sketchpad to put in rectangles like so. Okay? Using Sketchpad. And notice that I've made these rectangles, while they may not look it, but ideally you'd want them to be the same width, okay? If it's possible. So they're all the same width, okay? And then you're going to find the area of these rectangles, and you're going to measure that. And then we don't know what the actual theoretical area is yet, but we're going to do, develop techniques in uh, Chapter 4 
and actually come up with a theoretical one and then compare it with what we got out of Sketchpad. So you'll be making uh, the same kind of table. So you'll have two tables. Okay, where did this go? Where did that table go? Oh, did I close that table? Okay, so there'll be another table like this and instead of having the area of a quarter circle, um, we're going to be looking at the area underneath uh, half a parabola, okay, half a parabola. So that's what we're going to be doing with Sketchpad on Monday and Tuesday of uh, uh, January 30th and 31st. This will be in the computer center. Uh, remember that Monday is a minimum day. That's why I had to record this. I was originally hoping to actually teach you this in class. But since Monday is minimum day, you're not going to have a lot of time. Uh, there isn't enough time for me to teach you and have you do the activity. So I expect you to watch this YouTube and get prepared for Monday the 30th and the 31st. All right, see ya.